Hi everyone, today we're going to study bank discounts and proceeds. Banks often deduct the simple interest from the loan amount at the time that the loan is made. When this happens, we say the loan has been discounted. The interest that is deducted is called the discount and the actual amount that is given to the borrower is called the proceeds. The amount the borrower is obligated to repay is called the maturity value. If an amount, capital M, is borrowed for a time T at a discount rate of R per year, then the discount D is given by this formula. D equals capital M times R times T. The proceeds P, the actual amount the borrower gets, is given by this formula. Proceeds P equals M, that is the loan amount, minus D, that stands for discount. Now, we know that D is equal to M R T. We can substitute this product for D. In the next line, we can see that the D is now changed into M R T. So we have this new formula P equals capital M minus the product capital M times R times T. In these two terms, there is a common factor and that is M. We can factor out that capital M. So on the next line, we have capital P equals capital M times the quantity 1 minus the product RT. And this is now our two working formulas. This formula for proceeds and this formula for the discount. Let us have this example 1. Francisco borrows $1,200 for 10 months at a simple interest rate of 15% per year. Determine the discount and the proceeds. First, let us write the given of the problem, starting with the amount denoted by M, and that is the $1,200. Next is the time denoted by T, and that is 10 months. These 10 months we will convert into a year and we know that there are 12 months in a year. So we will have this 10 over 12 and this is the equivalent for a year. Next is the rate denoted by R and that is 15% per year. Let us convert this 15% into decimal. Let us put 15 over 100, dropping that percent sign, and the quotient of 15 over 100 is 0 0.15. So 15% equals 0 0.15 in decimal. Now, we are ready for the computation of discount D. Our formula is D equals the product of M 
times r times t doing the substitution now we will have the m is now changed into 1200 our r is 0 0.15 and the time is 10 over 12 let us use our calculator to simplify the product and we will have 150 this is the discount we will put our dollar sign next is the computation for proceeds p this is our formula p equals m times the quantity 1 minus rt let us substitute the corresponding values the m is the 1200 1 is a constant then minus r is the rate 0 0.15 and the time is 10 over 12 let us simplify this product first and we will get 0 0.125 the difference of 1 minus 0 0.125 is 0 0.875 let us get the product of 1200 and 0 0.875 and that is equal to 1050 this is the proceeds let us write the dollar sign it means to say this is the value that Francisco will receive remember the maturity value of the loan is the 1200 and that is the same value of the amount M. This is our final answer. Let us have this example too. If Francisco wants to receive $1,200 for 10 months at a simple interest rate of 15% per year, what amount of loan should he apply for let us first write the given this time the proceeds p is equal to that one thousand two hundred dollars next is the time and that is 10 months that we converted into a year so it becomes 10 over 12 next is the rate and that is the 15% that we converted into decimal. In this problem, what we want to know is the amount M. Going to our formula, we are now to compute the amount M. And the same formula we are going to use. P equals M times the quantity 1 minus rt doing the substitution now we will have the p now becomes 1200 m is what we want to know we will just copy one is a constant then minus the product rt r now becomes 0 0.15 times the time that is 10 over 12 let us simplify further first let us get the product of 0 0.15 and the 10 over 12 the same value we will get the 0 0.125 the difference of 1 minus 0 0.125 is 0 0.875 so this decimal here is the coefficient of m we want to know the m so we will divide this equation by the coefficient of m and that is the 0 0.875 so the left side the 1200 divided by 0 0.875 will appear like this and equals the right side 
becomes m alone. The coefficient will be cancelled out. Using our calculator, we will get this 1200 divided by 0 0.875. We will get this 1371.43. This is our M. This is the amount of loan that Francisco should apply for. Let us affix our dollar sign and then let us copy this value opposite amount M on this side. It means to say Francisco must loan this amount 1,371.43 dollars. The discount will be 171.43 dollars and he will receive that $1,200 as proceeds. This is our final answer. I hope you learned something from this video. See you again next time. Hi, Matt Enthusiast. I would like to invite you to join us and be a member of Ideology Community. If you become a member, you will help Ideology YouTube channel to make more math videos and to ease logistics expenses. See you all in Ideology Community and get this beautiful ideology fun badge and be a member according to your interest as a bronze member, a silver member, or a gold member. We love to see you in ideology community.